Hey guys, in honor of the super fight that's upcoming between Saul Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Triple G Golovkin, I'm going to be making a series of videos breaking down their signature techniques and their boxing fundamentals, uh, basically what they do good in the ring. So we're going to start off this first video looking at Saul Canelo Alvarez and his ability to shift weight. Before I show examples of Canelo using this technique, let me explain the three basic planes or weight distributions a boxer can use while in the ring. By plane, I'm referring to the position of your head relative to the position of your feet. The three planes are forward leaning, neutral, and backwards leaning, or back foot leaning. The boxer's ability to shift between each plane or weight distribution is incredibly important because it could be used to open up counter opportunities. The best boxers alive can fight from all three positions and their head position is in constant motion. Now for example you can see here that Canelo is actually in the forward plane meaning his head is directly over his front foot and Kodo here is in the neutral plane meaning that his head is directly in between his back foot and his front foot. Now let's watch Canelo use these three planes in the in All right, let's break down what we just saw there. So typically boxers will throw lots of jabs in order to find out what their opponent's gonna do. So right here, Canelo throws a jab and Cotto retaliates with a jab of, of his own, something typical that a boxer should do. Let's see that again. Canelo throws a jab, Cotto counters it with his own jab. So now what Canelo is gonna do is he's gonna use the forward leaning position to bait out a jab from Kodo so that he could counter it himself. So we see here, he leans forward as is doing. Kodo shoots a jab, leaning forward. Kodo shoots the jab. Now, now typically when you start to start out as a boxer and you're being taught the very basics, you're told to lean backwards, lean more towards your back foot instead of towards your front foot or being neutral of that because leaning forward is actually considered suicide you're leaving yourself wide open to be hit but you can be used in high level boxing so if you look here Canelo is leaning forward this would bait out a jab from Kodo however this is actually a safe maneuver from Canelo since he is actually outside of range of Kodo's jab. He measures his range with his own jab and then he finds his own range. So after that, he finds a range where he's actually in a safe position. So then he, then he leans forward to draw the bait from Kodo. So we see here when Kodo actually throws the jab, Canelo could see it coming and all he has to do is simply shift his weight back to the neutral stance. So let's see that in slow motion. Kodo shoots the jab here and then Canelo simply just shifts his weight back so that he could dodge the jab right there. And now here we see that Kodo is out of position and open to be countered. So Canelo uses this opportunity to shoot a straight right hand right over the top. Let's see that. Now after he lands that punch he doesn't go crazy and starts to swarm Kodo with crazy combinations. Right now, we know that Kodo ducked down to his right to avoid a combination like that, something that he was very prepared to do in the lead up to this fight. So instead of going crazy, Canelo stays patient, and we see that Kodo actually has nowhere to go but up. You could try this yourself. If you could just stand up and then lean forward, or I'm sorry, lean into the position that Kodo is in, you would notice that you can't do anything besides come back up before you could take a step or punch or really do anything. So right now we're going to see Kodo lift his head back up and then Canelo stays patient, waits for him to come back up and then shoots the jab. As such. Now in the last clip we saw how you could use the forward leaning position uh, when you're outside of your opponent's rage to bait a counter opportunity. 
But now we're going to see a clip of Canelo using the same technique, but this time when you're inside of your opponent's rage. Now keep in mind this is a very dangerous t technique to pull off since you are in your opponent's range and you can be risk getting hit while doing this. But if you're really sure of yourself, it's something that can be worth the risk sometime. So we're going to see right here that Canelo is going to do the same thing by stepping into Cotto's range, but this time leaning forward to bait out the jab once again. So we see here him lean here, and then Cotto shoots the jab. Let's watch that again. So we see that Cotto is going to shoot the jab after Canelo leans in, but this time instead of pulling back, Canelo is going to simply slip the jab and then counter over the top of it with his right hand. Now typically it's best to counter the same with the same side hand because their hand is not there, the other hand is not there to protect them. See for example if you see here Canelo slipping to his outside, if he used to a left hook counter instead, Cotto still has his right hand to protect himself. But since he's throwing with his left hand, you could simply counter off the same side because he does not have a hand there. So let's watch it. Comes over the top with the right hand. Very good boxing from Canelo. Now it goes without saying that in any type of one-on-one -on -one competition, if you start to do things over and over again, your opponent will start to pick up on it. So now we see Canelo leaning in the forward position. Uh, this time, he's already hit Cotto twice in the last two clips I showed um, with a right hand after throwing a jab or countering Cotto's jab in this sequence. So here we see Canelo leaning forward, but this time he's going to mix it up. So let's watch it. So here's leaning forward, but since Cotto isn't throwing the jab yet, this is an, a good opportunity for Canelo to start throwing. Since Cotto is not willing to throw, why not just throw it yourself? So Canelo throws a pawing jab to bait something out from Cotto. He throws the pawing jab and feints the right hand to see how Cotto reacts. Cotto responds by covering up. So then Canelo throws a jab of his own, staying disciplined. So now he's leaning forward again to see what Cotto will do. Here Cotto, instead of throwing a jab to the head, he'll throw the jab to the body, which is a very smart idea because every time Canelo has leaned forward and Cotto threw the jab, Canelo would be ready by shifting his weight and then countering over the top with the right. So this time, we see it again, Cotto throw a jab to the body, a very good weapon indeed. So he throws the jab to the body, but what does Canelo do? Canelo actually just takes a step back, a very good thing to do. See, there's nothing wrong with taking one step back. A lot of trainers will tell you that oh, don't step back, always step forward or step to the sides. There's nothing wrong with stepping back. So here Canelo steps back and he sees what Cotto has. Because sometimes you just need some space to just see what's going on. So he takes a step back and Cotto misses the jab completely. So now, now that they're reset in this position, Cotto is probably thinking that Canelo is going to come over the top with a right hand. But Canelo already understands this. So what Canelo is going to do is he's going to feint the right hand. Because he's already thrown it as a jab counter a bunch of times. This time he's going to feint the right hand, make Cotto think he's throwing it, and then come over the top. Or come under with a left uppercut. So let's watch it. Canelo comes in, feints the right hand, and throws a beautiful left uppercut straight into Miguel Cotto's face. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with more videos in the future uh, showing some more breakdown footage of both fighters leading up to their fight in September. The next video is going to be of Gennady Triple G Golovkin. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.